What's happening everybody? We're back with another 10 piece arena run and we are once again trying out the weekly. I had a lot of fun with this weekly. I played it quite a bit and right there we're gonna run two squatted but we have a level on our bluebird and bluebird is one of my favorite tier one pets. If I see a bluebird I automatically grab it. The extra attack it gives is just amazing. I think it's like the only tier one that passively scales. It's a little random, but we got a multitude of bluebirds now. As y'all see, I'll level it up quite a bit as the games go on, but we're gonna lose these early rounds. You don't like going 0 and 2 in the first two rounds, but that's all right. And once again, we get another bluebird, and we actually don't have the doorhead ant achievement. So y'all know me, I gotta grind those achievements. And the baboon's gonna buff our doorhead ant because it's the only tier 2 pet that we have. And our bluebirds are gonna help us trade or draw with a lot of pets. But we get our first W there, which is great. And once again, just rolling for more bluebirds and doorhead ants. Not really caring about anything else. And I decided to give my doorhead ant a egg because I want to get the level next turn on tier, on tier 3 so we can get a tier 4 on turn five but I'm not sure if that egg helped out there but we lose and we get two giraffes here and an orangutan so the bluebird in the orangutan as y'all know is one of my favorite uh, synergies in the game the orangutan will give pets health the lowest pet health plus four at level one while our bluebird gives attack so there's some synergy there obviously the bluebird is random while the orangutan always gives it to the lowest health enemy or er, pet well i can't speak today but what else is new but i think we yeah we easily take these guys out the level 2 doorhead ant has a huge buff with uh its health and i decided to give it a garlic to sweep through teams and i'm just gonna play more doorhead ants why not Played the avocado so we'll have extra gold next turn and even though we're four squatted the garlic on our doorhead ant and the attack that we have is enough to bring us to victory so now we have 13 gold a lot of room to play with and i actually have two pets here the swordfish and the rooster that benefit well from a level three bluebird because the more attack these uh the swordfish and the rooster have the better and yeah we're just cruising through these early rounds um a lot of people have been running lizard recently i feel like a lot of people like that pet and i get another swordfish on level here so hey why not just keep playing it if you're gonna keep giving them to me i'm gonna grab them but don't really do much this turn i save an orangutan for next turn and our team is okay for turn eight but i think we get pretty good luck here like our doorhead ant puts a lot of work in and we do win there so there's four wins and we get another rooster i think i level the orangutan here because the health is more important not a lot of scaling in this weekly so you gotta use the most of it and i think level two orangutan is just enough it gives eight health a turn Level 3 would be overkill, so don't decide to freeze the orangutan there. And once again, sweeping these early teams. Got a lot of levels, and right here I get a chicken, but no thank you. I have the doorhead ant level 3, I don't want to mess up what I got going on. And I think that give the garlic here to the rooster. I'm not sure why I did that, it doesn't really have a lot of health. I think I gave it because I knew it was going to get 8 health from the orangutan. So I just wanted to give it a little bit more juice, a little bit more survivability. But at level 2, with 10 attack is not that great for the rooster. I'm hoping that the bluebird would hit it a few times, but that's not the case. But nonetheless, we're getting really good RNG and not facing the best opponents. And I get a snake here, but I don't end up taking it. Freeze the rooster, but here we get the tiger, the star of the show. So, if y'all don't know, if you put a tiger behind the swordfish, it triggers twice. Well, you probably didn't know that because it's pretty obvious, but it's 
pretty good. The swordfish targets the most healthy foe in the friends uh, against your opponent. And it does 100% damage at level 2. So it does 20 damage. And then the tiger makes it activate again. So it does 10 damage because it's a, uh, it does it at level 1. So we just sniped their whole team. And the onion makes... Well, we get sniped there. So I don't get to showcase it. But the onion that I gave the tiger makes it so it goes behind the rooster. So we get a level 2 tiger here. So now we're doing... A ton of damage we're doing like 20 damage twice to the most healthy pets on the opposing team so there snipe their team bam and then the rooster goes behind the the tiger goes behind the rooster so that's gonna make it trigger a bunch of times and I just decide to try to get our swordfish level 3 and I gave it an egg I'm not sure why I gave it an egg. I think I forgot that it's gonna kill itself so that was a misplay there but it doesn't matter. It really does not matter. I think I might lose this one actually, or draw it. But as you see there, the rooster spawned four times. Four chicks spawned there because the tiger, as y'all know, makes it activate twice. So the onion in tiger is one of my new favorite combos in the game. And I decided to give him a rooster because its attack is so abysmally low and I want to make use of it. So I gave it a croissant there, but it doesn't matter. Swordfish snipes their best units. Our tiger goes behind the rooster, and the rooster spawns four uh, spawns four chicks. Damn, I cannot speak today. But anyways, guys, I got the level three doorhead uh, achievement. That's gonna be it for me, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. I'm out of here.